So I want to tell you, the, the issue of damage to our life, when something happens to us, what it actually does to your blade is it removes a chunk, okay? Or it causes uh, something to be missing on the corner, or it's some, some the area that you need to be healed in, you need to be restored in, you need to come back to the full structure and stature of who you are in Christ, right? So you're out there wielding the sword, but oftentimes something happens with that, even as you're walking in the word of God. But I want to tell you, you need to take a, some moment and recognize, Lord, am I, do I need to be repaired or do I need to be honed today? Because if I need to be repaired, I need to just come honestly and say, Lord, I got rejection in my life and I'm struggling with my wife today. I'm struggling with going back to work tomorrow. I'm struggling with what this person said to me and I just don't know how I'm going to navigate that. And so we got a peace missing, right? So I need to be restored today. And so that res restoration process is called sharpening. Okay, so you got a notch here. It goes down a quarter of an inch and you're missing that. You know what they do with this blade? They take it to a stone uh, a grinding wheel and they sharpen it all the way past the place where you can see the damage. That's called sharpening. But what happens when we come to the service here is that you are, you are already the word of God. It's living in you. It's living and active. It's powerful. Well, what you're doing many times, and I want to say this because by the spirit you need to hear this, that you are not sharpening. You don't need to get fixed every Sunday. Right, but I'm just, life is hard, and I just, it's just not working the way that it used to, and I don't know what to do, God, and I need your help in that. Well, that process is called honing. So what happens when you hone a knife? You see the chefs do this kind of thing, right? Why are they doing this? What's happening is, is that blade, it's still intact. It's still the original blade. It's still the, just as powerful. But what's happened to it is it's bent one side or the other. So when you go to cut through something, it's hitting a blunt so when you come into church, many times, God is just sharpening your faith. He's not just giving you faith for the first time because you've been reading, you've been hearing, you've been listening, but you go, oh, that's how we pray for the sick. Or that's what revelation is when we start talking about forgiveness. And then that blade becomes really sharp, cutting away what? Soul and spirit, dividing truth and lie. So when you come in and you begin to sharpen, uh, if necessary, or hone, if necessary, you can then be an effective weapon in the hands of God.